Okay, so this video, I'm gonna show you guys the best and easiest way to replace a glass only crack screen on a Galaxy S8 phone. As you guys see, this one got a little, well, it's not little, but it's cracked in the corner, but the display is perfectly fine. No display damage at all. So I'm gonna show you guys how to remove the glass, how to clean up all the glue, and how to re-glue a $14 piece of glass right back on here to make it look like it's brand new. Let's do it. All right, let's get this thing started. So here we have a Galaxy S8 phone. And as you guys see, looks like they went to California Adventure. But, uh, it's just the glass only cracked right up there. Mostly it's all in the top left. As you see, there's no black bleeding spots or anything. Touch works, everything works perfectly fine. I believe she told me she just wants to get this thing fixed because she's gonna upgrade her phone and you can't turn in a cracked phone to go get an upgrade. They won't allow you to do it. So you have to get your screen fixed from that. So I'm gonna use this $14 piece of glass right here to replace this crack glass right here. So let's get started. So what I start off right now is with the heat gun and to get the back cover off. All right, so what you guys are watching now is I'm using a heat gun to heat up the edges of the back cover. And then what I do is I grab poker playing cards to slice through the double-sided adhesive, which then will allow me to take the back cover off of the phone. There you go. So next, what I'm gonna do is take out all the screws that you see. So just take out all the screws that you see. There's maybe around 10, 12 to 15 screws, but just take them all out. They're all the same size. It doesn't matter if they get mixed up. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is just start unplugging everything and taking everything out of the phone. So everything is going to come out of the phone. That includes the front selfie camera, the proximity sensor, the charging port, the battery, even the little vibration motor. Everything comes out of the phone because you don't want all of those little pieces to get frozen. All right, so now that we have everything out of the phone, as you see, what I took out was the front selfie camera, proximity sensor, the little uh, vibration motor, um, charging port down here. Everything is out of the phone, it looks just like this. So the reason why I take out the uh, vibration motor, nothing happens to it when you put it in the freezer, which I'm gonna show you. It's just, I need, I need it to take out so this thing fits in the cleaning mold after. So what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna take this just like this and I'm, I'm gonna put it right here in this freezer, right in the freezer. All right, so I'm gonna put it in there for several minutes. Probably like four minutes, I'll leave it in there. Time to take it out of the freezer. You see I have it going on in right there, a little over four minutes. We'll check how it looks like. See how it looks. Pretty sure it's done. Let's see. Yep, this thing is good to go.
it. That didn't look so hard, did it? That glass came off. How long did that take? 15 seconds to take the glass off. There you go. That's the old glass. And this is gonna be the new glass that's gonna go on there. So this thing is still frozen. So I'm gonna let it sit here for about, like around 10 minutes or so. Then I'm gonna plug in, it's pretty cold. I'm gonna plug in the motherboard and I'm gonna fire up this phone and show you guys that there's no damage on the display. Everything is working just perfectly fine. So about 10 minutes. Okay, so it's been roughly about 10 minutes and this thing is thought out enough that I can show you guys that the screen still works perfectly fine. As you guys see, there's no display damage. Everything is gonna work perfectly fine. I know you guys noticed there's some moisture on the screen, but that does not matter. That moisture doesn't do anything to the screen and it's just gonna evaporate off of the phone within like less than five minutes. As you guys see, everything touches fine. I'm touching all the little buttons. The touch works perfectly fine, even without a glass screen on the phone. The touch function actually comes from the display part of the phone and not the piece of glass. So what I'm preparing to do now is I'm gonna get a cleaning mold because I'm, I'm preparing to clean the rest of the glue off of the phone right now so this metal cleaning mold with these orange rubber pieces actually gets warm from the hot plate that i'm going to put this thing on so what the hot plate does the hot plate vacuum i lay this metal cleaning mold onto the hot plate, which then the heat transfers through the metal of the cleaning mold and it transfers to the phone screen, which makes the glue warm. And then I, that allows me to clean all the rest of the glue with this tool that you see right here. Okay, so what you see me doing here is I'm just grabbing alcohol. You can get this 91% alcohol you can get at any grocery store. So all the glue is cleaned off the screen and now I'm getting this pre-cut adhesive that goes on the top and the bottom of the phone. And now here I'm preparing to use Loca glue. It's a $10 tube of glue that I'm gonna use to glue the glass right back onto the screen. So as you see, I'm laying down the glue right onto the screen and I have this UV light that I have on the right side of the screen, as you see there. When you're doing this, all it does is you just take, you just need a little bit of patience to do this. So you see that blue light that turned on? That's the UV light. So what you do is you stick parts of the phone in there and you, that UV light is what dries the glue.
So I pretty much got both sides of the phone almost dried with that UV glue. And then to dry the middle, I just put the entire phone right into the UV light. And I, I let it sit in there for about five minutes. So now I'm just getting alcohol and putting it on a clean rag just to clean up the screen from all my fingerprints or whatever else is left on the screen from my hands. As you guys can see, there's absolutely no bubbles at all from any of the loca glue. It's all completely dried up. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys everything works perfectly fine on this phone. There's pretty much, there's two methods to do this. You can see the loca way, which I just showed you guys. And there's also Oka sheets. They both pretty much do the same exact thing. So as you guys see, everything worked perfectly fine. So now I'm just going to put the foam back together, starting with the charging port. I'm putting everything back in. There goes the proximity sensor, but I forgot to show you guys something. I want you guys to see this. You see in the little selfie camera hole, there's absolutely no glue whatsoever in there. Some people have issues with getting glue in there. If you do it my way, the way that I teach, you won't have any issues with glue getting into any of these sensor areas at all. So I'm showing you guys, there's no glue in any of this sensor area. I have a technique that I learned on my own to do this. I did not learn it from anybody else. It's just from my experience doing this myself so many times that I figured out how to do everything to not get glue in certain areas that you don't want the glue to get into. So basically, putting back the phone, putting all the screws back in, I'm making sure the phone charges perfectly fine before I glue the back cover on. I want to hand the phone back to the customer so that they don't have, so they don't, in the future, they don't have to come back for something that I missed or forgot. So pretty much I just, with the old adhesive from the back cover, you just clean up all the old adhesive. Sometimes it balls up and everything, but clean it all off because you want the back cover to fit and in flush into the phone. So this kind of green plastic stuff that you see, that's double-sided adhesive. And it fits, it's already pre-cut, so it fits right directly right onto the back cover. And then you plug in the fingerprint scanner, and then the back cover fits perfectly right back into the phone, just like that. So one last time, I want to clean up all my fingerprints, everything off of the phone. I use a clean rag with some alcohol and I just clean the entire phone off so the customer gets it back in perfect condition. But yeah, that's pretty much it. As you guys see, California Adventure picture is right on there. And that's pretty much a glass only repair using the freezer 
and loca glue everything is perfect perfect on the phone all right everyone that's going to wrap it up today if you like this video please drop me a like it would really help me out if there's any other video in the future that you would like to see drop it down below in the comments below thank you guys for watching peace